painted circuit board flat spiral coil inductance. Spiral coil is made of copper foil and placed on the dielectric board. Copper foil thickness is 35 micrometers and the strip width is 1 millimeter. Spacing between turns is 1 millimeter. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 turns. Coil Outer radius is 10.75 mm and coil inner radius is 0.75 mm. Our task is to calculate inductance of the coil. In general case, this coil configuration requires three-dimensional magnetic analysis. I suggest to simplify the model and replace spiral coil with concentric coil. Concentric coil is shown with yellow. In this concentric coil, the strip width is 1 mm, the spacing between turns is 1 mm, this coil has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 turns, and each turn radius corresponds to the spiral coil turns average radius. You see, the radius of the first turn in the spiral coil changed from 0 0.75 to 2.75, so the corresponding turn in the concentric coil has the radius 1.75 average between these two values and so on with 2 mm increment. It is believed that both the spiral and concentric coil features the same inductance and the good thing about concentric coil is that it could be simulated in two-dimensional axisymmetric model. Let's start quick field now and simulate concentric coil. In quick field I create new problem. Problem name coil. Next. Problem type is magnetostatics and the model class is axisymmetric. Length units are millimeters. Finish. On the left you can see the problem pane and on the right you can see the geometry model editor window. To construct the geometry model I switch to the insert mode and I will insert the rectangle. Rectangle width is 0 0.035 millimeters. This is the foil thickness and the rectangle height is 1 mm. Insert. Close. Now let's zoom to fit. This rectangle represents the cross section of the foil strip. Now let's move it to the proper position. I switch to the select object mode, select it and move. Now let me check. Concentric coil first turn radius is 1.75 millimeters. Go back to quick field, right click, move selection, displacement vertical by 1.75 millimeters. And we have five turns and the radius changed with two millimeters increment. So right click, duplicate selection by two millimeters. I need four more copies. Let's zoom out. One, two, three, four, five. We have five turns now. Horizontal axis is the axis of rotation. Magnetic field of the coil is distributed in the air so I need to draw the air block. Again switch to insert mode. This is the axis. Switch the line type to the half arc. And this would be the boundary of the air block. Now let's assign text labels to the objects. Through labels we will specify physical properties to the objects. Switch again mode, click the object, 
to select it and open the properties dialog. Here type in the label name. This would be the air. You see the label appeared in the tree. Right now it has the question mark which indicates that there is no data yet assigned to this label. This would be the coil. And that's all. We have only two bodies here. Air and the coil. Double click the label to open the label properties dialog. And here specify magnetic properties. For the air I specify relative magnetic permittivity 1 and nothing more. OK. For the coil which is made of copper I specify relative magnetic permeability 1 and the current source well let it be 1 milliampere. In fact this coil label is assigned to 5 blocks so here I specify that these blocks are connected in series. This means that in each block the current will be 1 milliampere. That's all for block levels. Now let's assign levels to the boundaries. Far away from our coil magnetic field fades to zero. So I assign label zero to this edge and specify zero magnetic potential. OK. Quick field automatically assigns boundary condition on the axis of rotation, so there is no need to add the label at this axis. Before I start the analysis, I should build the fine entanglement mesh. Just press the button. The mesh is ready. Now save all simulation files and run the analysis. Let's take a look at the result. Here you can see the magnetic field lines. You can adjust the picture and switch on the color map of the flux density. You can also switch the vector plots of the flux density. Turn on the legend to see the correspondence between colors and values. And you can also get the field values in any point. Just click the point and here is the field parameters. And you can use contours to calculate integrals. Here I draw the contour and can calculate magnetic flux. And you can use contours to make XY plots. Field parameter distribution along the contour. And you can see the data used to construct this plot in the table point coordinates, flux density. You can adjust which values to display in the table. And you can adjust the tabulating step. Well, but my task is to calculate inductance. So close this table, close this XY plot. Quick field features built in inductance wizard. There are two approaches via flux linkage calculation or via energy calculation. Both should give the same results. Let's use the energy approach, it is more simple. Next. Calculate the stored energy. Calculate it. Next. Choose the current. Here is the current next and this is the inductance finish 250 nanohenev let's try the flux linkage approach next add the coil here is the coil number of turns 5 next choose the current 
here is the current source next finish 250 non let's find some online calculator and compare the results number of turns 5 spacing between turns 1 millimeter 100 micrometers turn width 100 micrometers outer diameter now let me check radius is 10.75 then the diameter 21.5 millimeters 21.5 21,500 micrometers calculate this is the induction for the circular spiral coil like this one now what we have in quick field 250 it seems the approach of replacing spiral coil with the concentric coil worked out well online calculator gives about the same result but that was for DC current. Painted circuit board often operates at pulsed current and the typical frequency is some hundreds megahertz. Let's change the problem type to AC magnetics and specify the frequency to be well 500 megahertz. Okay. Geometric model is the same, but in AC magnetics problem we should provide some different data. So double click the label coil, magnetic permeability is 1, but and electrical conductivity which is 56 mega siemens per meter. And also I will specify the total current 1 milliampere turns are connected in series. For the air I specify magnetic permeability and for the external boundary I specify zero magnetic potential. OK. Save all simulation files and run the analysis. Now let's take a look at the result. Here again you can see the magnetic field lines and the color map of the current density distribution in the turns. Let's zoom in. There are eddy currents induced in the copper foil. Let's again use the inductance wizard through energy. Calculate the energy. Next current next finish 235 nanohenes it was 250 what else we have here we have the impedance visa which can help you to calculate not only the inductance but also the resistance of the coil and here you can also calculate the losses this is the joule heat losses in one turn. I can select the other turn and next and next and next. These are the losses. And you can use these data to set up thermal analysis problem and calculate temperature distribution in the coil. And you can also calculate the magnetic force acting on the turns and use this data for the stress analysis problem. But our task was to calculate the inductance, so I'm satisfied now. You can find this example page at our website if you search for the flat spiral coil inductance. In fact, this is a different spiral coil with the round cross section of the conductors. But the approach is the same, you replace the spiral coil with the concentric coil. At this page you can read about problem setup, browse for the solution section, take a look at the resulting 
picture and download the simulation files. Simulation files may be viewed by any Quickfield edition including three Quickfield Student Edition.